Hi, I'm Jen, this is Brandon, and we're a veg couple, and we're going to do our review for the CTFX Cinema for The Last Action Hero. Basically, this movie is about a uh, kid, Danny, something. Manigan? I think so. Something. Something like that. Played by Austin O'Brien, who is obsessed with Jack Slater movies, who is a fictional movie character played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And uh, the, the usher at the local movie theater that's about to be demolished gives him a magic ticket that gets him sucked into the movie. And he has to convince Jack Slater that it is a movie, and then the bad guys slip out and stuff happens. Don't ruin the plot. Yeah, and I was very happy to see Austin O'Brien in there because I didn't, I didn't look at the cast or the opening movie credits. I wasn't paying attention to the opening movie credits. So I was like, oh, he's so cute! Because I was in love with Austin O'Brien when I was about 10 years old. Okay. What would you think of the movie? I thought it was really good. I think some parts were like so bad it was funny. But overall, the considering it was made in 1993, um, I think the special effects weren't bad, and yeah. um, I kind of like those weird people getting sucked into things or body sweat switching, weird stuff like that kind of movie. So I think it was right up my alley yeah. with that. It's it's not a traditional action movie. I think no. it's more of a it takes shots at action movie cliches. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. It's it's very funny. It's more of a comedy than an action movie. Yeah. It, well. Um, it's categorized on Netflix as an action comedy. Yeah. For me, personally, it doesn't really matter if a movie's that great. If a movie makes me laugh, it can make up for being weak in every other area. So I like comedy. So I, I really like this movie. This is a very funny movie. He was laughing his butt off. It was, it's just some parts were so ridiculous. Like, like it's like, what if, wait, what if getting in the car, what if staying in the car gets me killed? <laughs> There's a gun in the glove compartment. Opens it, it opens up. up. There's like fucking fifty guns in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I couldn't. I just laughed my ass off. This is hilarious. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was funny. Def and very funny movie. Definitely proves that Arnold Schwarzenegger has a sense of humor. Yes. You know, yeah. you, you gotta have a sense of humor to take a shot like that yourself. But hey, if you can't laugh at yourself, how can you laugh at others? If you can't laugh at yourself, you don't really deserve to laugh at others. I, I think we should do potatoes again because. Arnold Schwarzenegger's a steak and potatoes kind of guy. Okay, I'll we'll do potatoes again. How many potatoes would you give it? I'd give it seven. Because it was, it, I think it was funny enough to get the seven. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. Um, yeah. Much, much better than I expected it to be going in. I'd like, say, I, I'd say a seven out of ten or a four out of five. Yeah, I, I definitely had low expectations going into this movie and I was, I was pleased. It was funny. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't really know what it was about, just that it had Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Yeah, yeah. Austin O'Brien was a pleasant surprise. Yes. He was so adorable. So, if you He's like... He's like 30 now. Yeah. So, hey, if you like this review, um, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. If you didn't like this review, there was an X button up in the corner that you could have clicked the... At any time. At any time to have stopped this, so you're just as much to blame as we are. <laughs> And, and uh, if you like us, please hit the subscribe button. And add to favorites if you really enjoyed this video. Yes. Or if you just want to see our goofy faces again. Yes. And we'll be making more reviews and vlogging. Hopefully daily on the vlogging. Yeah. So, until next time. Bye. Go see TFXC.